This school year, many students have chosen to take the virtual learning route, but what some are actually learning is that that option might not be the best fit for them. Our 13 News reporter Andy Bernhardt is live in Wayne County outside of Cerrito Canova Elementary School with what obstacles students are running into. Andy. Hannah and Lily, as the pandemic continues, students and teachers are continuing to face challenges as they try to adapt to this new normal. This school year, Wayne County Schools has around 270 students choosing to participate in its virtual learning program. After their six week evaluation, around 70 of those students are being asked to return in person as they are not reaching the set GPA requirements. The district says the online learning option has been very successful for most students and say that students who are struggling virtually are either having issues staying motivated or maintaining a steady internet connection. So in Wayne County, uh, depending on where you're at in the county, broadband is kind of spotty in places and it's hard for students to log on. And that presents a different struggle. So it, so it isn't just student performance, it's all of those factors that combine to, to add struggles for those, those learners. The district says they think the transition from virtual learning back to an in-person setting will be beneficial to the students struggling. In Wayne County, Andy Bernhardt, 13 News, working for you.